Yo, what is up guys, it's Fully Fester, and today I'm going to be showing you 20 Minecraft interior designs. So these are all going to be basically kind of modern designs. Uh, it was requested by one of my viewers. I will leave a little uh, comment in the well in the comment box below, uh, just giving them a little shout out for the video. Or I might put it in this video if I can find it while I'm editing it. Um, but anyway, we're going to start off with number one here. So obviously you got this nice little desk here, which is made with some stairs on each side. Uh, we've got just a block of quartz there and then some slabs here. Uh, we've got a stair there and then a trap door which is a birch one on this side here. So you can kind of walk into your little uh, desk here. And we've got this weighted, oh this might be the, yeah the heavy weighted pressure plate. Um, we've got an item frame there. We've got a button there for a mouse and then just a little little object on your desk there. You can have a lantern or whatever. Um, you could even put storage of things underneath here but I just thought I'd do this with a nice little desk. Um, if you want to you can knock out one of these. Put in an item frame, a slab uh, in the item frame, kind of make it look like some drawers. Um, however, I just stuck with a nice little basic um, computer desk, uh, computer or work area here. So that is number one. Uh, let's head over to this number two. This is just a basic wall design here. So as you can see, we've got a kind of just your back piece here. So you could have a, as big as wall you want. And uh, you get this, this slabs going across the bottom. I've kind of mixed up a bit of spruce in there instead of keeping it all white, because otherwise it does look quite plain. Uh, so you fill off these slabs on the bottom here. Obviously you want to make them uh, so that you can rest blocks on top of them. Um, so once you've got your slab on the ends here, you want to put your stairs whatever way you want. So I've kind of flipped it so they can look like they kind of slide in and fit like a Tetris kind of game. Um, and then you get the slabs on top as well. In between the two, well in between the middle here, I've put this emerald. Just kind of gives them off a bit of light and then obviously we can put some uh, saplings or whatever you want in here just to kind of fill space um, they're just kind of nice little shelving units you can add or just like nice little things to add to your walls so when you're walking down your um, area you can kind of just see or you don't really have a plain walkway you always have these nice little um, details on your walls and things um, just nice little shelving units really uh, number three is kind of another similar shelving unit so you've got the slabs on the bottom here um, you've got this nice little block here and here uh, which kind of hold the whole shelf together. We've got the stairs which is similar to the first one. Um, so that kind of looks at the desk here. And then we've got upside down stairs and then a slab on top. Um, two slabs which obviously just got form a block and then we just got slabs going across here with one in between. Kind of gives us this little um, edged thing at the top going on here. Um, just kind of gives you a little, little fancy um, shelf, storage shelf or thing to put things on. Um, perfect little mantle piece or something. Um, obviously great for just filling up corridor space really and uh, making things look, anything that kind of needs space, it's always good to add these little things like these um, just to really fill up the area itself. Uh, number four, we have this little um, bedroom box. So I actually saw this on Pinterest, it's quite an in interesting idea I thought. Um, so it's kind of a modern futuristic bed. Uh, you've got just like a simple concrete rounded, well concrete rectangle. Uh, you've got slabs in front here and you've got your bed there. And then you have two um, end the end rods there you kind of look like two light bars going across and then you just fill it up with slabs on the top here kind of gives you this ni nice little uh, boxed bed where you kind of boxed in it's very futuristic i think uh, very nice for kind of maybe a futuristic steampunk kind of builds um could definitely be interesting or cyberpunk builds um could definitely be interesting what you could use this for they're kind of like little pods like if you've been to japan or something i think they have some little pods that you can kind of sleep in uh, also kind of looks like those so number five here I'm going to try not to get confused with the numbers because last time I done a 20 interior design video, I got very confused with the numbers. Um, basically, this is going to be a little walk up. Yeah, it's kind of a little walk up um, aquarium here. So we can walk up and you've got this little window with the aquarium in it. You can add whatever you want. You can make it as big as you want. Um, but for the sake of this video, it's quite small. Um, I've got birch trapdoors going up the side here. We've got some uh, stairs on the top. It's um, just normal blocks on the bottom. Oh, which kind of then head into this little glass area here which is uh, just one block back and then you can make the section behind this as big as you want and it gives you this nice little interior um, aquarium that you can add into your house and uh, it's just very nice and simple to look at um, you don't actually have to have this slab here you can leave it there to walk up or you can just have it as a simple um, kind of thing here and obviously then you could add things underneath as well um, so I'm just going to fill that back in uh, so yeah so that's that one so number six, I believe, hopefully we got this right. Nice little uh, modern bed design. Uh, there's a lot you can do with this one. You can obviously put chests and things underneath your bed, uh, barrels even. Uh, but this is basically with two beds, you've got your trapdoors at the end. You've got some stairs, underneath those stairs are banners that are just kind of placed at an angle. So you place them 
um, at an angle like this and this and then uh, place the stairs on top and they will come through and they look like pillows obviously you got pillows here but these look a lot more realistic you can actually use this if you break the bed here that kind of looks like a couch as well so you can use that as a couch if you really want to or a sofa and then uh, on the back walls here if you build it close to the wall like I have you can put the trapdoors in the wall and you can fold them down to access some secret storage and then fold them back up as well and then over here we got a nice little chest of drawers um, which was simply made by a loom that's just facing the diff uh, in the wrong direction with a button on it and a lantern on top of that very nice and simple indeed so number seven we just got a nice little um, kind of table dining area a uh, very nice and simple modern one uh, so we've got some stairs in each kind of middle section on each side um, these little kind of squares in the middle of the little plates that they can use or uh, well, yeah the little plates for you um, and then obviously you, you sit on your stairs you've got these plates here you've got a nice little um, decoration in the middle there and a bit of light there um, it's just made by stairs going into each other with slabs in the middle um, really nice and simple design there really um, definitely would add this to your modern home next up we have number eight this is a nice little um, more wall design here so you've got these blocks on each corner so it's a uh, one block slab one block slab one block slab uh, nice five along uh, then we got these stairs that go around in a square it gives you this back uh, square here these aren't actually central as you'll see um, and then you use the other one up here just in a little diagonal uh, kind of gives you this nice modern uh, wall design you've got a plant cactus and a few lanterns around it just for a bit of extra detail the cactus kind of looks like it's holding it up as well which kind of makes it look really cool um, on the back side here you'll see that it actually requires four bookshelves for each one so it is a relatively expensive um, wall design so you might want to consider this or you might want to just remove the bookshelves and use something else however it does look a real or it does make a really cool wall piece so i would recommend using that number nine we have a nice little uh, storage unit here so it's like a little cabinet type thing uh, we've got trapdoors heading up the sides trapdoors on this side too slabs going across and then we put things on top and then we go up a bit and we got another slab there put things on there and a slab up there as well um, really simple and easy to build it gives you a nice little storage area and just looks really nice and cute in your builds uh, definitely something that I would use maybe if you wanted uh, if your house isn't this tall you could cut it down a bit um, just so you can fit it all in there number 10 here is a nice little grand piano design um, it's using the loom block here we use them to kind of create the inside of the piano these are kind of like the keys so um, you can press and then we've got a stool there with a trapdoor on top and it's kind of made with a stair at the case, a bunch of staircase at the back and then we've got these slabs that kind of go up slowly like the piano is kind of coming up and the emerald is the little stick that holds the um, top of the piano together I'm not a pianoist or anything so it's I don't know the correct technical words for it but it basically gives you this nice little modern piano that you can implement into your builds let's head over to number 11 which we'll start from this end again this is a small modern storage or not storage kitchen design here um, so you've got a nice little marble counter uh, you've got a trapdoor thing here you can place stuff on you've got the little your little furnace and then obviously goes up into to your extraction unit which would, then you could obviously build this into a um, into a chimney which will then take out all your smoke and then you've got this nice little storage unit up here uh, really similar to a lot of the um, kitchen birds I usually do just adding a few things like the uh, quartz and that quartz generally brings out the more of the modern design it generally looks a lot better using quartz uh, especially for modern builds just because the block is a lot more smooth and uh, kind of re resembles uh, materials like marble it just looks a lot better um, than using wood obviously wood isn't too much used in modern builds you can still have really nice modern builds made of wood there isn't a specific uh, reason as to why um, I use quartz but it just, just generally looks a lot more modern in Minecraft for example next up is this nice little back little um, shelving unit again so this one's too wide uh, we've got a block here block here slab slab and then we've got one at slab that goes down and I put some storage units in the floor there's some storage units at the back there then we basically copy this design but one higher and then we just put a stair instead on each corner and just put that slab at the top which will give you access to this box here and then you've got two boxes there and you can fill up this side here with whatever you want so that's a really nice uh, simple one to build there and obviously you could hide it away so you can't see all the stuff from the sides here uh, number 13 we have a lovely little sofa area here made of quartz then we've got a little table there and we've got our big TV so this is literally just black concrete I believe 
and and then we got loom the loom block which uh, is just facing normal ways and then we've got these buttons for speakers um, on top of this nice little marble or quartz table whatever you'd like to call it number 14 we have a nice little clothing rack as well um, I actually saw this one on Pinterest I thought it was a really good idea um, so I kind of decided to use this um, so it heads up by well however really you want to head out by this one is actually uh, let's count it one two three four five six this one's six high um, and then it goes across by one two three four five six seven and obviously then we've got some light in the top we've got the slabs going across we've got this, this glass door so obviously it looks like a glass sliding door and we've got lights on the bottom slab across then we put the banners on top of the slabs there and put these end rods going through look like they're hanging up some sort of clothing uh, which is a nice little design number five we have just a nice little stylish uh, concealed bookcase um, so we've got these slabs and things to kind of create this like S design and then obviously you've got like uh, bookshelves behind it so it looks like you can kind of slide the books out onto these little slabs here so just a, like, kind of a modern bookshelf design um, really nice and simple one there you can just play around with it so you've just got a bunch of bookshelves on the back and then you play around with slabs and stairs there to get these little S designs and yeah really nice and simple number 16 I believe uh, just a simple another little simple table similar to that one there uh, this one's just got stairs from so you place your block in the middle put an upside down stair here 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 then you put the trap doors on each corner uh, gives you this nice little table and then you can fill it with whatever you want in the middle I just put a cartography table because it just just why not and then obviously I just put some paintings on the wall there just to, something to look at really number oh I've already lost count of what we're on 17 I believe it's 17 we're on 17 yes 17 is a nice little kitchen design here a uh, really simple one so we got a fridge here made with a iron door uh, barrels behind it so you can store in it I put barrels in the floor so you can store more uh, we got an up upside down stair there with slabs on top connecting up to the fridge and then on here we've got pressure plates the silver weighted ones um, but underneath them is a so if you place a frame down and then put the food in it then place the pressure plate on top it kind of looks like they're just sitting on top of pressure plates which kind of make them look like they're on chopping boards or something uh, so that's a really nice little tip for you guys anybody who wants to build a really nice kitchen in minecraft number 17 just a simple little uh bath really uh this one's just made of stairs going around and just filled out the middle here um so you can kind of come down into it obviously you've got your little tap where you can turn on and off um you've got a light bar going across the top nice little bit of decoration in the corner here uh, you've got a towel over here as well you could actually um use the loom to change it to that that banner design there it looks more like a towel and then you just got this nice little flooring which is actually just made of shulker boxes um, just because i thought they looked pretty cool to be honest next up we have a nice little showcase design so you can should store anything you want inside this um, basically this is just a block pressure the gold pressure plate on top and then it kind of basically goes all the way along um, and then you've got a glass block there but underneath this block is an armor stand here um, which is standing on top of a slab so you place a slab down uh, you break this floor you place a slab down there and then you put your armor stand on top um, then you put your quartz block and your glass block here um, you put whatever you want on top of the armor stand and then you get a piston that pushes these two blocks so this should be a full block but pushes these two blocks into the armor stand and it will give you um, obviously you can't place it like that so if you get a if we get some redstone and a piston you just want to push push these blocks in and then it will just give you this nice little um, decoration here and it looks like you're storing something special in there uh, I literally just got spawned in a astronaut helmet and have used that if you don't know how to spawn heads there is a video uh, on my channel for how to spawn custom heads I know it only works on Java so there's quite a few people saying about PS4, PC, uh, P not PC, PS4 and Xbox. Unfortunately, I'm not sure how to do it on them because I only play Java. So um, I'm sorry I can't really help you there. But um, for anyone who plays Java, feel free to have a look at that if you want to know how to spawn custom heads. And our final design here is a nice little uh, bathroom design. So we've got a little sword there. You could use it for a razor or whatever. Or you could use it as a kitchen design if you really want. It could be both. A uh, nice little kitchen design. So it could be a chopping board for all you want. Uh, you got your nice little tap area there, your tap, your sink, and then you got a towel just to wipe your hands on, or a towel for 
if you have this as a bathroom for example and then a bit of light poster and obviously you can have a window so you can look out the back at all your amazing work that you've built in your world and then just a bit of decoration over here so this has been 20 modern uh interior designs i hope you guys enjoyed this video don't forget to leave a like comment and subscribe for more content and in the next couple of days i'll have another build video coming out for you guys so i hope you all enjoy and i'll see you all soon peace